tilt on every axis. Hey, I could probably make a Nintendo Switch inside of OBS Studio. I didn't even know that about OBS Studio. I'm learning about OBS Studio right now. If I want my Switch to be green, if I go to my Twitch chat and I type exclamation mark Switch, I get a new color. Oh wait, one last thing. You now have a coin that you can roll in whatever direction you want, but you can see that now it's getting thick to the sound of my voice. <laughs> There's a new secret OBS plugin that turns every source into a 3D panel. Bear with me, I'm kind of mad because I lost the first recording of this. But anyways, the plugin was made by this creator, Horai Chen or Horai Ken. Sometimes it's written with a K, like right here. And if you scroll down their Twitter, you will see that there is a Google Drive where you can download the said plugin and a little video showing you a couple of examples of how people have been using it. So it basically creates kind of that highlight around the borders and then has this extrusion effect that sells the 3D. It's not a real 3D, but you know, it sells the effect. Something that I really like is that, yes, you can use it individually as a panel like that, but you can also like integrate it into like another image that is kind of 3D to really, really sell that effect. For example, here you can see some sort of arcade machine. That would be pretty nice. I also saw that someone used it to make a Switch, <laughs> which is so cool. Now you have a screen with a, with a Nintendo Switch. And I also realized, hey, I could probably create this in OBS Studio. Just only using OBS Studio, I could probably make a 3D Switch with an interactive screen. So once you download the files from the drive, those are the four files you will find, two PNG images to show you examples, one user manual that is entirely in Chinese, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this file right there is the actual script. And all you have to do in OBS Studio is go at the top where it says tools, go to scripts, click on the plus to add a new script and go find that file wherever you downloaded it, okay? Once you add it, it will appear in your list right here. You'll see Horizon 3D with the description and you can close this. Now what happens now is that you can go ahead and just add a new filter to whatever source you want. For example, my starting video here, let me go to filters, let me turn off the mask, I'll click plus and you'll see 3D. And what I'm guessing is panels in Chinese. I hope I'm not wrong on that. Boom, and you have a ton of options, including scales, tilt on every axis, little roll on the Z axis here, horizontal positioning, vertical positioning, thickness, you can make it super thick or super thin, just like you want. Corner radius, make it very, very round or just straight up rectangular. There's also the brightness, you know, if you're gonna actually use it as a screen, there's we get extra exposure, I would call this. And then there's light direction because of course we have that highlight on the left here. So here the light is supposedly coming from the left and you can switch that, boom, and it changes your shadow behind it, right? Something very, very cool is that we might be enticed to, you know, slowly rotate this maybe, right? Slowly move the position, maybe the rotation, and it would be a cool thing just to remind people, hey, I have something 3D on my scene. Uh, the effect comes with a wiggle, so you can just bump that up, and now it's gonna automatically, of course, we want to scale that down a little bit so it doesn't go out of bounds, but we have an automatic slow wiggle when it comes to the position. So the position is slowly moving, and it doesn't even allow you to make it too fast, so it's not distracting, so it's perfect. But on top of that, you can also wiggle the rotation if you also wanted to you know, not just move in 3D space, but also rotate a little bit, right? So that's great. Now, what else? One thing to note is that Exeldro, someone who made a ton of very useful OBS Studio plugins, have been talking to that creator and um, is going to include it in the next update for Shader Filter plugin. So if you have the Shader Filter plugin, the next update will have it. But if you wanna have it right now inside of your Shader Filter plugin, you can do that right now. On Exeldro's GitHub, you can go here and this is the file that you just need to add. So you can go here and download the raw file, place it wherever you want. You will see it's called 3dpanel.shader, which means now we can go back in OBS Studio, select whatever source you want, go to user defined shader, click okay, load shader text from file. All of that is things that you already know if you already use the shader filter plugin. And now go find the specific file, okay? I already added it in my examples folder, boom. And it's the exact same the absolute exact same. And you can even see credits based on effect by Oriken. And if you click, it's gonna bring you to their profile, which is pretty sweet. Okay, now big question here. How does it determine the alpha, the transparency? How does it work with the transparency? If I upload like a heart PNG image, am I gonna have a heart shape 3D object, right? Is it just extruding anything? Let's try it out. I'm gonna make a new scene called 3D test. I'm gonna to go to image and I'm gonna find a PNG image. I happen to have a heart right here. Open, okay, filters, boom, 3D effect, 3D panel. And what we see here 
I'm gonna add a color source for the background. What we notice here is that actually no, it added some black just to create the panel. So it doesn't seem to wrap around the alpha or the transparency of our PNG image, which is a shame. It would be cool. Exaldro, Horikin, if you <laughs> if you guys are watching this, it would be awesome. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be really cool. But that being said, we can see that this is not a rectangle. Like this is a square-ish, right? Which means that you can create whatever you want as its own little, you know, rotating icon on screen and, and you can make cool banners. It does take into account the aspect ratio, not the, not the transparency, but just the aspect ratio in general, which gave me that idea that I was talking about earlier that, hey, I could probably make a Nintendo Switch inside of OBS Studio directly, and it wouldn't even take a lot of time. I could just do it right now. I'll take this color source. Let's make it orange, but it really pops. Play with the height. I did set it to fit, so let me control R and then move it like this. I'm gonna control D to center it. Right click copy, right click duplicate. Set this one to black or slightly gray. That's gonna be our screen. Double click, lower the width by a lot. Move that to the center. Nice. Right click copy, right click duplicate, double click, make that a square, 800 by 800. Go to filters, add an advanced mask. That's a plugin. Uh, set the shape to circle. Congrats. Now we have a circle and this could be our joystick. I want to control C to copy, right click, uh, paste duplicate. I'm going to bring that down. Control C, right click duplicate again, right click duplicate or duplicate. All right. Let me see if I can copy multiple and paste multiple. That would be awesome. Wait, can I? I can. I didn't even know that about OBS Studio. I'm learning about OBS Studio right now. We can place that here. Let's copy this one. Place duplicate again. Place it here. Copy that joystick. Duplicate it and place it. Copy this one. Place duplicate. Set this one around here. Let's go to filters and turn off the mask. That way we have a square. Not bad. Now we can add a media source to play like a video or something. I believe I have one called fake gameplay. There it is. We can just size it up to fit. Control D to center it. Then select absolutely everything. Right click. Group selected items. Well, it's sweet. Nice. Now, all I have to do is right click on this, go to filters, plus a 3D effect, 3D panel, sorry. And I have a Nintendo Switch that I can customize. Corner radius. Like that. Is it perfect? No, but can I also go back and make it perfect? Yes, if I were willing to take the time. Now, can I make it wiggle and it will time and also rotate and also, uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I just made this inside of OBS Studio. Now, what would be the reasons why you would want to make it in OBS Studio? Honestly, not many. Um, of course, like uh, in Photoshop or something like that, or actually taking a picture from the internet, uh, although copyright issues and blah, blah, blah. But the cool thing with OBS Studio is that now, if I want to use Streamerbot to, for example, let my chat, if I want to let my chat change the color, for example, of my Switch, I can do that. Like that's something that I can do. How? Because this is just a color source. If I want my switch to be green, I can just do that. In Streamerbot, I can go to my actions, right click and add a new action, switch color. I can get it because we're going to switch the color too. Right click under sub actions, go to OBS. What is this? A source and set color source color. Yeah, set color source color. Makes more sense when I say it like that. And now I can click on random color to give it a random color. I can select my scene, 3D test here, and the color source was the very first one, which was technically color source two. Let's make sure of that. Yes, that's right. Click OK. And let's say I want to assign this to a command. I already made a command for this, but you can also just create a command. Under triggers, you want to right click, add core commands, command triggered. And for mine, I'm just going to go with color switch. But you could have clicked create command anyways. So now immediately, instantly, in a couple seconds, if I go to my Twitch chat and I type exclamation mark switch, I get a new color. The problem with random colors is that uh, you will get not great colors. So I can add a color correction to this to make sure that everything is going to be oversaturated by adding color correction and bumping up the saturation. Now everything is going to be bumped up and I can bump up the contrast a little bit too. Now everything, every color is going to be max saturated, max contrast and pop like that as if it would be a real switch color. And that is all in OBS Studio. If you want to create alerts where, I don't know, stuff appears or but possibilities are endless. I could probably even make an effect where uh, there's reflections <laughs> that just go by, you know? But also think of browser sources. For example, in my starting soon, I usually have words on stream. Let me quickly launch that. There you go. So I usually have words on stream 
And this is interactive with chat. If I wanted to have this basically display on my Switch, I could do it. But there are also, there are also things like uh, chat, for example, if you want chat to be 3D, that is something that you can do. Even if you don't want the panel effect, you could use it just for the wiggle, for example. If I want to add uh, an, a new image, for example, I think we did the example with the heart. That was the question. Does it wrap around? No, it's just like it creates a panel no matter what. What you could do is probably just use the wiggle effect. Open it up a lot. Boom. And now I can right click and go to blending mode and set this to add. Now I have like a floating heart somewhere. It could be your logo. It could be it could be anything, really. Just double click, switch it up. It could be an emote. It could be for your social media. Let's say I have the logo for my podcast here. It's transparent. And boom, now I have a version of it that's just overlaid, no panels, and it's just there. It's gonna be wiggling. If you have a podcast, for example, that could be <laughs> that could be down there. If you have the people's names, like their Twitter handle on your podcast, possibilities are just absolutely endless so that's the advantage of having this be inside of obs studio instead of like a pre-made video is that you can change you can use data basically you can move things and you can make it interactive by using things like streamer bot or uh, mix it up or whatever bot you're using to control obs let me add this to words on stream real quick boom look at that but the problem is it needs to to fill whatever it's in right now, right? Otherwise it's gonna add some black around it. And that is purely because it doesn't fill the, the, the full space. You can see there's transparency around it. That is gonna be filled. So you need to be conscious of that. So how would you make it work? If you really wanna make it work, honestly, you would crop everything. I would probably just do this, crop it. So it really fills the space. Basically the extremities are actually the colors that you want like that. And then I would put it in a group so that it takes into account the cropping. Nice. And then I would add the filter to the group. If you know how OBS works, like if you're good at like the basics, there you go. And now you have a proper panel. You can make it thick. <laughs> you can make it thin. You can play with the corner radius. You can make some pretty cool stuff if you just understand the basics. This is why I always tell people, watch the basics. If you don't know every single OBS vanilla source and what they do, every single OBS vanilla filter and what they do, you're not ready to do fancy stuff with extra plugins because you don't know the basics. You're going to struggle either way. And when I get messages like, oh, I've been searching the internet for it. It's not, the answer is not going to be the, on the internet because you're supposed to know the software that you're using in the first place. The analogy I like to give is you're trying to drift before learning how to drive a car. And then I get comments that are like, oh, well, you didn't teach us how to drive the car. You didn't look up my channel. <laughs> that's it. Just say you, you don't do research because yes, that's all I do. I have over a thousand videos. Why am I ranting? Anyways, 3D effect. I will put the links in the description to the original creator. Oh, wait, one last thing I wanted to show you. It doesn't have to be like a panel panel because since we have the corner radius as an option, we could just make a square, add the filter to it, bump up the corner radius to the maximum and congrats. You, you now have a coin that you can roll in whatever direction you want. Slap a logo onto this. You know, I happen to have the Elgato logo here. Let's say like that. Let's make it color appropriate. There you go, that looks more like Elgato. Group them up, name it whatever you want. Now add the filter. Bump up the scale, corner radius, wow. And there you go. You made a cool little Elgato coin. That of course you can tilt, rotate, and animate using the move plugin if you want to. But also, using the move value from the move plugin, you can also an animate those options themselves, right? If I wanted to, there, there are so many things that I wanna show you. There's so many options, so many things that you can do. Let's say, <laughs> uh, let's say that I wanna animate the thickness to the sound of my voice for some reason. I would probably go to my audio, find my mic right here, go to filters, add an audio move. That is with the move plugin. You need to have the move plugin installed in order to get those things. Go audio move, pick the source, and now it's just gonna move to the sound of my voice, but that's not what we want. Uh, we want the action to be a setting from the filter 3D. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> well, that's something you can animate too, but we want the setting to be the thickness, okay? We have to go back and actually fix what we just messed up there. So click on your folder, go to filters and actually fix the scale. But you can see that now it's getting thick to the sound of my voice. <laughs> so uh, if you're a DJ, you can have like, I don't know, buttons or whatever. You can probably make a uh, fake speakers actually with this since they're round and stuff and you can make them boom, 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 boom. All right, that's enough. Make sure you subscribe, like, share the video with a streamer friend and go follow the links in the description. I give you the free advice, give you a free tool 
You get to be creative now. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out. <laughs>